Hi everybody, it's been a while since I've done an update, so I figure we were due for one. Um, I haven't got a lot done, but there's been a few things, and I'll go over that with you. The biggest things that I've been doing is getting set up for operations in the near future. So there's some stuff that I've done in regards to that, which I'll walk you through. So the first thing, me and a buddy of mine, we came up with a train list. Um, so this is the, these are the trains that are going to run during an op sessions. We're still trying to figure out what order they're in. So this is not the order they're necessarily going to go in, but at least gives you a list of what's going to happen. Um, those patrols down at the bottom, that's what Milwaukee Road called their locals. So, um, working on how we're going to switch in and out of the towns that are in here using the uh, local switchers. So, that's the train list. The dispatcher will have this in front of them. Uh, so it's got the trains based on which direction they go. Uh, if their westbound trains are on the left, eastbound trains on the right. You read it up or down based on which direction you're going. So you fill it in when you get to different towns. You mark the time on the fast clock and if you hold them there, or if you send them straight through and things like that. So typical operation stuff. I've started installing car card boxes around the fascia, which will have masonite on it eventually, but for right now they're just screwed in there. Uh, all the cars on the layout have a car card and a way bill at the moment. The way bills are not filled out yet. If there's any writing on them, it's from my old layout. So this hopper that's where it used to go on my last layout. That'll get changed. So each industry has a box for it. While the towns are prototypically correct on the layout, um, the industries are not necessarily correct. And I usually end up naming my industries for buddies of mine that are in model railroading. So Nelson Stockyard over there in the corner is named after a buddy of mine who's no longer with us that used to live in Madison that I hung around with when I was a kid so um, so yeah every town's got the boxes mounted on the fascia now And then so does the staging yard. So this box is gonna be for the caboose tracks here. The main staging yard has its boxes, of course. My label maker ran out of tape, so that's why some of the boxes don't have labels on them right now. And then the engine facility has its own box down here also for various equipment that's sitting in there. So yeah, so the next thing I have to do is figure out which trains are going to pick up which cars when and all that stuff. So that's what we've been doing on the operations front. Uh, in addition to that, I did get three more blue point turnout or six more blue point turnout controls installed here. So to make my staging tracks work a lot better. I don't pick the switches anymore and the frogs are powered which helps with the steam engines. I ran out of the mounting plates that hold the little mechanism underneath there so I can't really go any further. I have more turnout controls but not the mounting hardware. So, um, Let's see, I, I know a few videos back I showed you that I extended this interchange track here in Camp Douglas it originally went to here from here to here figured out that wasn't long enough so I extended it to here figured out that wasn't long enough for all, all the traffic that I wanted going down with the interchange with the Northwestern so I added a double layer of foam here ran this down here and I moved the feed mill down here so it's more out of the way and now I have a nice long track for my interchange track with the Northwestern here. 
So this will be the uh, interchange that track that goes to Elroy, which is towards the camera here, and then that interchange track goes to Yville, which goes away from the camera back there. So, um, yeah. Um, two trains running around right now. One of them is a new project. Uh, let's see, it's the one I'm following here. This is the F Morning Hiawatha. It's going westbound. And then the one on going the other way, eastbound train, that's the Olympian Hiawatha. So it's two different passenger trains which will run once per session. And then there's four way freights parked in the yard here. Plus a special move, all these crawlers, that'll be a special move of uh, stuff that's manufactured in Milwaukee and heading west. The other thing that Morning Hiawatha it actually will have work to do in New Lisbon, uh, I built a uh, Ringling Brothers Barnum Bailey advertising car last weekend, and those ran uh, a few weeks ahead of the actual circus, so it's sitting in New Lisbon right now putting up advertising material for the circus and the afternoon Hiawatha part of its job it will stop in town here and pick up that car couple it on the back of the sky top and proceed west to St. Paul um, which is what they actually did with that car and it's a former World War II hospital car that Ringling bought and that's the last paint scheme it was in they discontinued using them in the mid 50s so my layout set in 1953 that's the paint job that was on it so it's prototypical so, so this rsc3 will during operations be working this yard there's an nw2 over here in Moston, sitting right there and that'll work traffic in Moston here there's quite a few industries here there's nine different industries that that switcher will work and then finally over here in Fort McCoy there's another NW2 and a different paint job that'll do the interchange again with the Northwestern and then all these army vehicles going in and out I ended up I bought some more um, buildings found these army barracks buildings that most of them will be off scene, but I built, bought three of them and I'll sprinkle them in around here. Um, so that'll be just give the impression of the actual army base, which is that way off of that Y. So that's pretty much what we've been doing here. So next step is going to be filling out waybills for all the cars that are on the layout figure out an operating plan and getting the timetable actually set up so I know what order I need to run trains in in order to make everything work right. That beeping is my throttle is going to go to sleep. So if you're wondering what that is. so But the tr layout continues to run well. Um, haven't had any problems. Um, I still plan on dropping some more feeders down. But overall I'm pleased with what's happening and um, I guess that'll be it for today I'll get back with you uh, the next time I get some more stuff that I think is worthy of a video to watch so thanks again I hope you have a great rest of your weekend thanks